Hey, have you ever found yourself thinking, how can I make more money? How can I get out of this job? If you're in a nine to five, you don't like, maybe you like your nine to five, but you just wanna make more money. Maybe you want more flexibility to do the things you really like to do. Maybe you just wanna do some work that you really enjoy. Or maybe you're like me, you're a teacher and you either don't wanna go back to the classroom or you wanna add on to your retirement so you can enjoy that retirement that's coming up. Well, hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I was an online school teacher for a long time, taught high school math, but I kept looking for a way to make more money, right? I kept seeing I was living paycheck to paycheck. I kept looking for something else to do. And I tried different things. I tried network marketing, a great industry. It just wasn't for me. I, I was teaching in a small town at that time. I ran out of people to talk to. I didn't know how to build a business online. I tried affiliate marketing, you know, selling somebody else's product. And it was good income, but same thing. I didn't have enough people to talk to. So I started looking around because I knew people, people like me and you were making money online. How do they do it? And I started reading and studying, because remember, I'm a teacher. That's what we do. We read and study and learn things. I found what they call the info product industry. And you know what? In 2026, it's going to be, it's estimated to be, a $325 billion industry. Now, that's a lot of money. Now, when I first heard it, I got nervous. Because I thought, there's some big guns out there. There's some people that are going to do what I do. How do I find a market for them? How do I sell my product? See, the idea of the info product industry is you create a course using your knowledge, sharing what you know, what you like to do, your passion. And I don't know what that is for you. See, in the industry, there's three what they call niches. Wealth, making money, health, and personal relationships. I don't know what trips your trigger, but I knew I could make a dent in that industry if I just found a way how to do things. So as I'm starting to do this and teaching people, right, the first thing is to find your niche, your big idea. What do you want to do? Could be teaching people tennis. Could be teaching people how to lower their score in golf. Could be teaching people how to lose weight. Could be teaching how people how to read faster. Speak Spanish. I don't know. And guess what? Somebody else might be doing the same thing. But it doesn't matter. See, it's your voice. See, I speak to different people than somebody else does. And it's the same thing for you. So how would you like to make more money online? How would you like to leave that nine to five job? How would you like to have more flexibility? So I want you to ask yourself some things. What do you like to do? Write it down. And then ask yourself another question. What do you know? What do people say you're really good at? Right? I was good at listening, and that's helping me in my business. I was good at numbers, and that helped me in my business. But what are you good at? See, what you want to do is you want to try to come up with a big idea for your industry, for your course, to be able to create a course that you could market to the industry. So start writing down some things. What are you good at? What do you like to do? And it doesn't matter. Just write a bunch of things down. And then what you want to do is pick maybe three to five of those. And then we're going to study and do some research on what's going to be viable out in the online industry. The next thing you want to do is you want to talk about your ideal customer avatar. Now, there's more than one. And usually it's you. Usually it comes back to your background. See, when I started thinking about making extra money, I had kids getting ready to go to college. I couldn't help them very much. It really bothered me. That's when I started looking. 
And that's who I talk to first, our parents with kids going to college, parents who are living paycheck to paycheck. But then, as I started thinking about leaving teaching, guess what? There's a bunch of teachers that want to get out of there. So I have actually two avatars, and I talk to them different ways. But when you're talking about your product, your course, you want to actually have those people go, wow. How does she know what I'm thinking? So, right, we're going to try to come up with a big idea for your course. You're going to come up with a customer avatar, and if you need help, I can help. And then what type of course are you going to make? So, you know, I talk about course. There are starter courses anywhere from $27 to $197. Then there's a medium-sized course from $197 to $497. Then there's a signature course. I started out as a $7 course, and it was good because I wanted to over-deliver. And I made a little bit of money on it. But then I thought, you know, I wanted to make, I really wanted to help people. So I raised my next course up to $97. And then I started learning how to do bigger and better things and to make a better course and how to present it and how to actually help more and more people. So I want to ask you something. Where do you see yourself in three years? Is it doing what you're doing now? Maybe you see yourself living on a lake, in the mountains. Do you have a brand new home? Are you traveling the world? See, this can happen for you. All you have to do is get started and try to figure out a way how you can use your knowledge, your skill, your passion to build a course to help people get what they want to achieve. Hey, you take care. Please put some comments below. Tell me what you think. If you could have a course, if you thought you could make money, and you can, if I want you, what would it be about? Or tell me, where do you see yourself in three years? Let me know in the comments. Y'all take care. Bye.